Hey, Ohio State fans, Alex Gleitman here on the fourth edition of Around the Oval for BuckeyeScoop.com. We have another special guest today, uh, Ben Chrisman, offensive lineman, 2021 recruiting class, the number one recruiting class in the country. He is a big piece of it. Ben, thanks for joining. How are you and your family doing? I'm doing good. Family's all good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course, man. Uh, it's our pleasure. Uh, speaking of how you and your family are doing, obviously it's been uh, some tough times for everyone across the country with the coronavirus pandemic. Things have been shut down. It certainly affected uh, the off season as far as it goes for athletes like yourself when it comes to, um, you know, football and training and getting ready for the new season, maybe playing some other sports. Tell us a little bit about how you've been keeping in shape uh, during this quarantine period and how you've been getting ready for the upcoming season. Right. I mean, everything was shut down uh, mid-March and you know, for about a month or so, I didn't have access to a weight room. Um, I, I have a couple of things I have in my garage. I would just work out, you know, two or three times a day there. Uh, I'd get outside and run. Um, I get I would do a couple O line drills. I go to a park, you know, go outside there, run around, um, and then I started having access to a weight room uh, late April, and I've been lifting there. And about two and a half weeks ago, we were able to work out as a team with my high school team. Um, obviously, practicing social distance, social distancing, and you no, know, it's been good. I'm just trying to have a really good senior year. Yeah, for sure. I was going to ask you, you know, every, every part of the country is different as far as where they are with being able to work out with their high school team and things like that. Tell us a little bit about like, what have you heard as far as, you know, the upcoming season is everything going to kind of happen as planned and what types of workouts have you guys been able to do together? Uh, so a lot of people are probably doing the same thing. We have time slots. Uh, we can't have, you know, the full team in there. So we'll have 20 guys show up, but there's two different rooms. So they'll go in one room, we'll go in the other. And um, can't do really, um, you know, I, I mean, so let me restart. So conditioning, we're all apart. We're all running in different spots. And then when we get in there and lift, we lift. Um, we, we, you know, we have to clean everything when we're done. You know, it's, it's very strict, but it's also really good workouts that we do. So. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's obviously, you know, kind of touch and go, I think, for everyone at this point. Hopefully there's no uh, spike in cases and things like that that kind of set us back. But it seems like everything's going in the right direction. Uh, so that's great to hear. One thing that certainly hasn't uh, stopped or slowed down during the pandemic is Ohio State recruiting, especially for your class. Uh, you guys uh, have 19 members in this class. Uh, again, ranked number one uh, in the country. Obviously, of late, uh, guys like J.C. Latham, Hudson Wolf, maybe we thought could end up in the class. Didn't, but other than that, it's been, it's been uh, things have been rolling for, for you guys. Uh, what is it like for you to be a part of this group and, and this top-ranked class in the country? Uh, it's a blessing, man. I mean, I get to be a part of the top-ranked class in the country and some that I've you know, dreamed about and worked for. And, uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. And for you, you're an Ohio guy. Uh, there's a few of you in the class. Let's go back a little bit to your decision to commit to Ohio State. I mean, for you, was it once you got that Ohio State offer, was it kind of a no brainer or were there some other schools, you know, involved? Tell us a little bit about, you know, your your decision process. No, I was very open in the process. I mean, it's just that they were, you know, hitting me up the most and everything I'd seen when I visited and visited other schools, just Ohio State was the place for me. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, you've, I've seen you on, on Twitter. Uh, you know, you're, you're taking somewhat of an active role, it seems, in trying to at least touch base with some other top targets and things like that and help bring guys into the class. Uh, you know, who, I guess, who are some of the guys you're trying to go after to, to help uh, join the, the first class 21? Uh, I mean, just really, I mean, whoever wants to be a part of this, I don't know what you're waiting on. That's kind of what I tell everybody. Um, I mean, we have, we've hit up guys like Emeka and, um, you know, I like Jagger, Burton. Um, I mean, there's a lot of guys, so we'll see. Yeah, have you guys, as a class, have you guys been keeping in touch? Like, is there, 
you know, everyone always talks about these group texts and things like that. Tell us a little bit about, you know, not only talking with the guys that are currently committed, but, you know, has there been an effort from everyone to try to bring in guys and get, you know, get them comfortable with everyone else in the class that maybe aren't committed? Yeah, I mean, obviously all the commits, we all talk together. I mean, uh, I mean, everybody has their part. I mean, everybody, some people want to recruit heavily, some people don't. And I feel like a lot of people are doing a good job. So that's what I got to yeah. say about it. And I, what, you know, talking about you as a player specifically and how you fit into this class, um, I know one of the things Ohio State likes is that you bring a lot of versatility, can potentially play multiple positions on the offensive line. Uh, have they spoken to you about kind of where they envision you playing um, when you get to Columbus? And do you kind of have a preference, uh, interior, offensive tackle? Uh, you know, tell us a little bit about what's going on there. Um, I mean, you kind of guessed that I was recruited to play offensive line. It didn't matter, tackle, guard, or center. Um, I, you know, as long as I get on the field, I don't care which position it is. Again, you know, I can play all five. I'm not, you know, listed as a tackle, listed as a guard. It's, I'm an offensive lineman. I'm going to play whatever needs done. Uh, what's, what's your height and weight right now? 6'6", uh, 315. Yeah, so at that size, you certainly – can play any of the five positions along the line. I, I guess on that, you know, front, tell us a little bit about, you know, the strengths of your game, what you feel uh, you do well that allow you to be such a uh, talented offensive lineman. I'm a molar in the run game. You know, I bring a high energy to the team, you know, wherever I go. And, and uh, you know, my pass set's getting better every single day. I'm just, I just, I got that nasty in me, you know, that I had, you know, since I started playing and that just drives me to play, you know, football. Yeah. You, that, that nasty in an offensive lineman is an absolute necessity. If you don't have that, uh, I don't think you're going to be very successful, certainly at the next level. Um, but, you know, on the, on the other side of that, what are the things that you feel you need to work on uh, over the next year or so before you begin your career at Ohio state? I mean, the game's getting faster every year. So, you know, I'm always working on my quickness and my technique. Um, and, and also power. Um, you know, I mean, I mean that's just, there's always room for improvement in every single thing you got to do. And that's what I always do. So. Definitely. And uh, are you going to, I forget, are you enrolling early at Ohio State or are you going to uh, end up there next May or June? Uh, keeping both options open right now, not finalized. Got it. And, you know, I guess whenever you do get to Ohio State, talk a little bit about what your goals are. I guess both uh, individually for your career at Ohio State and then, you know, for the team overall. Uh, with the team, I just go undefeated against that, that team up north. I just, that, that rivalry, I mean, there's so much hate in that rivalry. You know, there's respect in it as well. But, um, you know, Big Ten championships, I mean, the bar is high. But that's why you come to Ohio State and, you know, we want to win national championships. We want to beat that team. We want to win Big Ten titles. And as a player, um, I'm just going to give everything I got. You know, I also want to be a leader of the team. If I could be a captain, that'd be a tremendous honor. That's all I really want to think about. I'm just – I'm a team first guy, so I'm always thinking about what we're going to do as a team. Yeah, definitely. And uh, last thing I want to talk about, you mentioned the rivalry with the team up north. Spoken like a true Ohio guy there through and through. Uh, you know, it's something that, you know, you – grew up with uh you know whether whether you you know you root for Ohio State you root for Michigan you root for someone else if you live in the state of Ohio you you know you feel that certainly every November um growing up as a kid I mean were you an Ohio State fan yeah I was my mom went there so I kind of was forced to so. yeah so, so uh you know the first question on the rivalry is like how cool will it be for you to like grow up probably watching that game every single year right around Thanksgiving time, probably with your family or friends or whoever. And now you get a chance to play in that game. Like, how cool is that for you? Uh, it's, I guess it's a blessing, you know. It's one of my dream schools, and uh, now I get to be a part of it. So it's exciting. Yeah, for sure. And, and then the, the real question I want to ask you, put you on the spot a little bit, um, now that we brought up the, the game. Tristan Bounds, recent commit to Michigan. I don't think he did anything wrong. You know, I, if I was Michigan, I would want him to have that mentality, but he definitely had some comments about wanting to come in and, and beat the, you know, 
S H I T out of you guys and, and all that stuff. How do you, as a react, uh, you know, as a recruit, how do you react to that? Um, you know, to those type of comments, does that fire you up? You know, what, what are you feeling when you hear that type of stuff? That's why we, that's why we hate each other. <laughs> um, I mean, I heard about his comments. That's his opinion. But ultimately, we're, we're going to shut that down you know, in Columbus. We're going to shut that down. Awesome, Ben. Well, that's what fans want to hear. Uh, again, appreciate your time today. Uh, you know, wishing you the best of luck in your upcoming senior season. And then, of course, you know, once you move on, the Ohio State fans watching this are certainly going to be very excited to see you suit up for the Scarlet and Gray. So thanks again for joining the show. Stay safe and, and best of luck. Yeah, thank you for having me, man. Take care.